certain percentage of people here or uh, remaining five uh, might not be clear as to what the ad would be uh, wanting to uh, tell you. So that thing does not make it sense that uh, even if it is explanation marketing, it would be effective. No, in explanation marketing, uh, it, where we are talking about, that's where the communication has to be, right? Demonstrating a benefit. Why do we not? Has to be demonstrated. Right? I'll give you an example. If they started now going in their advertising, in the, at least in the outdoor, right? They've already done it in television partially. The outdoor, they've done it in television. They started saying, right, that if you are in X area at a Y time, the percentage of discount that you get is X. Yeah. Right? So that benefit. If you were to be at a mall and somebody, like, you know, I represent you in all, I come and start talking to you, sir, why am I recommending Airtel over you know, not, the postpaid customer? <coughs> Sorry, a prepaid customer. Union or over Airtel. Sorry, you did not over Airtel. If I were to explain that, why am I doing that? Here, and tell you very clearly, if you are going to dial this number from in orbit, right? It's going to be tricky to send you. Right? But if you were on Gorengau Bridge, right? I charge you the normal tariff. Right? But if you were to put Mulund and dial the same number, right, I'll give you 70% discount. I'm not going to moment telling the consumer please put Mulund and dial. Dial the number. But what I'm telling that depending upon the traffic in the area, yeah. right? Of users, right? I'm assuming that on a Gorego bridge, right? Okay, the users of my tower, of my time which is getting distributed from the tower, are going to be fairly high. That's why I can't give you any kind of discount. But I know for certain at Mulu, right? The tower usage itself is limited. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. Therefore, when I negotiate with my guy also, right, with my Seller, right? I will negotiate a contract, yeah. right? I'm passing on the benefit to you. Now, when I explain it to you on a one-on-one -on -one basis, you're convinced about it. You may consider shifting from air to you may not. You may. No, but uh, when you are targeting, this just struck me that when you are targeting uh, your sales pitch, I would call it your sales pitch in this matter. Uh, second thought would come to my mind that tomorrow, if that Mulund area also gets congested. Yeah. You might charge me more. Or Absolutely. in case the service provider is not able to give you the bandwidth, I might not be able to use your services. No, it will not be possible. The reason is very simple. I may charge you more, but the bandwidth will never decrease. Right? Now, even if I charge you more, say three years from now, mm. right? Today it's, it's almost come up to about 15 paise per minute or something like that, right? Yeah. Okay. Three years from now, it will come down to five paise. I don't foresee that happening in our country. Yeah, it's a real possibility. The reason why it will never happen in our country is, right? Phone is not used by Indians as a phone. The phone is used more for gossip rather than phone is used for communication. Right? What we saying is, especially when it is left. <laughs> right? I mean, you. You don't take me. Sorry? You don't like the gossip. You don't like the gossip, but how many women don't gossip? So that's where I'm saying, especially like, you know, that is something which is that no uh, 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 service provider will lose the competition. Right? Even bring it down one by say. We still stand with our I know of women, right, who probably charge themselves thrice a day. So which means like your standby time, even in the worst cell, right, is about two hours. Right? And your talk time will be in the region of one hour. So which means, right, she's talked for three hours. So 
180 minutes. I get 180 paise in Where should I use the doctor?
can come and share and experience that. Formatting. Formatting. Right? It's literally true for a brand, for both trial and also conversion. Right? That's the most important. That's why it's recommended in future that you get experience more seriously. Right? No. So, what are the reasons for that? Sorry? What are the drawbacks of No, I'm not, I've never said that since person are not satisfied. No, I'm just, not just figure In general, if you say it's so benefit that's that, are you covering it later? What no, cannot be the best. No, 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 no. I can't teach all my TG at the same time. Right? Okay. And TG can be located. And TG again, right? Okay. Changes from your perception of your brand is a way another perception of brand. Right? Let's go and look at milk paint. Right? Milk paint conversions when I talk about Mithai, right? And when I demonstrate Mithai being done out of milk paint, right? I see a lot of conversions happen. But if I were to just put a milk paint dabba there, right? And say that this dabba is available for you with 15 rupees off, nobody does it. I have to continuously demonstrate. It's not just that a simple consumer offer. If there are a lot of brands which offer this one on one, a karita to do suffering. For me, it looked like liquidation of sale, liquidation of uh, your uh, stocks. stocks. It's nothing but liquidation of stocks. Right? How to shake Right? Look at this, like, you know, the importance of messaging, even uh, messaging can be given in shared. Deliver brands consistent communication with buyers. It is imperative that the mass media and its huge market are thoroughly in sync. That's very important. Right? Whatever benefit you are communicating in your mass media, verbally, which is creating the awareness, has to be the same benefit that has to be demonstrated. Right? Okay, in the expectation market. You can't have two things happening differently. And the consumer of believability factor comes down. Internet service providers educate prospect users by demonstrating the speed of connection. Right? If you look at uh, Tata Photo, right? Okay. They communicate with the speed of uh, the internet speeds, right? Both on the television, outdoor, and also in the distribution model. When they went into corporates to sell their net connect, right? That's what they they talk only about look at the speed of this internet connection. We're delivering 530 kilowatts of speed, which is what we need to do in more speeds. There was a point in time where, I, if you recall my, the way we started off, we talked about proliferation of brands. Right? Okay. We talked about how there was one line soap in 1978. These are the 42 line soaps we were able to create, both as regional brands and as well as national brands. Right? Okay. Now, when you have so many brands with proliferation happening, there is no way that any one of these guys can ever attempt to influence it, right, to national. Because everybody is talking about climate pressures, everybody is talking about climate pressures. How do you influence the customer? The only way there is, is through exploration. That you have to work towards influencing the consumer and making you to get your product favorably expressed. That's what it is. So influence is the word which I need. Here, right, to, to be one of the deliverables of exposition. Any questions? Hmm? Okay.
let me address what is the basic purpose of policy. According to Oxford, influence is number of related aspects, the power of the ability to affect an individual, someone's belief or actions, the person or thing with such ability or power, the power arising out of status, contacts or threat, the power to produce a physical change. This is what is all influence. So what does the experiential marketing do? Right? It transforms human behavior. Any experience that see, look at it, okay, let's keep aside branch for Look at the six of you, right? All of you were strangers when you came day one to this school. How long have you been in school? Eight months. Eight months in school. Are you still strangers? Each one of you has influenced, right? The other. So what has it done? There is a changeover in your behavior to each individual. When you join, there were perceptions. After you join, they became realities, right? And they were the influencing decisions. Right? Or they are the influencers of you looking at an individual the way you look. You get him more. Right? So what are the factors that influence exploration marketing? First thing, need for interactivity because one-on-one -on -one involvement will bring in the initial trials of cross consumers. The moment I do exploration marketing, right? First thing is I'm doing it free of cost. Indeed? Okay. If I had to ask each one of you to pay me five rupees for the coke that I'm giving you, right? The, the, those two would have said no no no, we anyway don't drink it so good. Am I right? Okay. If it was given free to you, there's a possibility that you may even try it. Am I right? So first what does it do? It drives the track. And on a one-on-one -on -one form. Right. Second, helps in generating rational and emotional offering to them. Right? It will help me as an individual. See, for example, this whole class. Right, let's look at this whole session that we are doing. Right? I'm in a position to connect with you people, or you're in a position to connect with me, right? Because I'm giving you rational benefits of what experience to market is all about. Right? The emotional aspect of it, right, will start once you start applying those benefits into your day to day. That's why examples what I've given you are from your day to day life. I'm not taking any other life examples of brands. Because you may not have even witnessed it, you may not have witnessed it. A sweet, a sweet bean shop is something which every one of us has witnessed. Right? And all of us have read, right? How Adam and Eve, right? When did taste it with Adam? Right? And you know, So the emotions of it is when you go and experiment this, right, on your own with the brand you connect with. Okay. Next is drive. Sorry. Okay. Initiates and accelerates trials among consumers. Right. Most important thing is, right, any brand if it wants to be successful, right, it has to be tried and tried and tried. And Right. There is a dictum right, in uh, PhD. Any person who joins as a salesman in the company, right, he has to rub, I'm using the word rub, 200,000, right, rubbing noses before he moves to the salesman job to the next. 200,000 salesman noses. That's when he starts understanding, right? 
okay, why people use which way to run for different applications. I will not use which way to run during monsoon or winter. Very strange, right? I use which way to run during summer. I'm talking about personal people. Cool. Sorry? Because of the metro. For me, the summer heat, right? Okay. Makes me sneeze. Right? And that's when I end up having a running boost. The winter and the monsoon doesn't bother me. In 365 days, in my car, in my laptop bag, in my office, at my home, there's always a big flavor of that small dabba, which is like, because I'm very allergic to dust, right? That's when I start sneezing, and I have a lot of and it's very good to use right? I've had this brand to trace that for, for almost seven years, not only in India, but also in this which is a global uh, importance of age. Now, last, I would say about seven years, right? the salesman is no longer asked to rub 200,000 doses before he moves to the next portion. Right? Because the company has realized for the nose applicator, you require this. This is the quantity of things paper you have to require for running your numbers. Beyond that, if you rub it, it will become very oily. <coughs> and the rest of your face will look dry and this will look shiny. Right? <laughs> Makes you look like a joke. Right? Now, the last seven, eight years, the company stopped insisting on it. You know the reason? Volumes? The volumes were not growing. Because the application was only up to the nose, right? The volumes were not many, right? That's when the whole communication, globally we have changed the communication, right? Where we talk about the humanity. That we have to apply it on the nose, chest, and the back. Because depending upon the age group, the application on the chest and the back increases, right? Okay. Therefore, automatically, right, the consumption of mixed vapor starts with this. Otherwise, it was completely flattened. For four years, mixed vapor didn't understand, uh, sorry, PhD didn't understand why, right, the volume and the value, sorry, the value was changing, volume was not going at all, it was stuck there. Four years, four years that you just didn't move. And that's when we realized saying that people have stopped. Nose, 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 nose. The other thirty years of that. That's when we came and said we moved nothing and we started application. One, two. That's how this thing started. Next is drives home the message that often can be appropriated and adopted. With explanation marketing, right? What you can do is you're driving home a message, very simple message, right? That you can deliver the product based on your needs. Right? Here I'll talk about let's take convenient foods. Right? For a working house. I need the meat for the because she can cook a meal in half an hour. Otherwise, imagine the good old days where the wife was working. She has to come back and sit like coffee, she comes back at 8 39, home. Then she has to start cutting vegetables and cook. Whereas when she's coming back with convenient food, you can always pick up uh, uh, some aloo mutter or something like that, right? And get up. There are other things she has to ground the masala, make a piece of ginger garlic, all those things, all those things. Is, is it. So if you have appropriated the product and you make sure that the person adopts the product. 
That's just high distal buzzing in fact in the prospects to ensure sustained involvement in the problem. Because it's ever to continue. See, this is another sad thing that's happening in our country today because we've not been exposed too much to experiential marketing in this country. Right? And most of the marketers are still not very serious about experiential marketing. Right? We don't believe in strategic year-long exercise. We believe in, unfortunately, marketers today really believe in knee-jerk reactions. Right? So it's ad-hoc. It's ad hoc. Right? Major connections. Right? If experiential marketing is treated like a strategy tool, right, the deliverables are far higher. So yes. one question I have is uh, why are the marketers uh, taking this approach as to not to go for experiential marketing? So is cost be determined? That could be one of the major factors. Is, right? Still, people have not understood what brand experience does for us. The market is a So, in that case, how would you uh, go on this one-to-one -one involvement? What, how would you decide the target on which you want to experiment this so that you can replicate it on a larger scale? Few clients are doing that. That's what I'm trying to say. Few marketers who are doing it are seeing the benefit. No, but then how do they ascertain or pinpoint as to I would try it out among these six here yes, and not among uh, the 120 in the campus? That's the sample of The sample of Sample size. How, how do they determine the sample size? Because the definition of TG has to come in now. Any communication has to have a definition of TG there. Whether it's experiential marketing or advertising, it has to have a definition of TG. So the definition of TD decides whom we are going to direct it to. Right? So the same apparently. See, there is no constant endeavor. I'll give you an example, right? Of Uinon. They spent 22 crores on mass media, right? None of you guys, right, six guys, have understood this aspect. Yeah. If only they had spent about five crores on experiential marketing. By making this offer 60% and 40% and 30% and 20%, right? Probably there is a possibility that their sales wouldn't have not been at something like 200,000. Probably they would have touched half a million. Right? They've never invested into experiential market. Now, even by investing, so that's where when I talk about 20%, 30%, 60%. It doesn't make sense for them to come and talk to me. For me, it doesn't matter whether it's 60 percent, 40 percent, 50 percent, because that kind of savings is not the savings that I look forward to. Right? Who are the guys who look forward to that kind of savings? Right? The artisans, the rich artists, auto rich artists, right? The students, because they've got limited disposable income. Right? Now, which is a better communication? You are talking about television, right? In this communication, where there is a complete flow, they are also addressing that communication to me. Yeah. And I am never going to be their teacher. That trigger of 60, 40, 50 will never trigger me into switching over to you now. Right? Okay? Whereas, right? If I were to go to a college campus and do that, experiential marketing and do a demonstration how it succeeding to you, probably they have more connections happening. That's where I'm coming from. Now, especially when addressing children, experiential marketing works wonderfully with housewives, right? Across the board it will work, especially with children, you got me a lot more Careful, and you will need to be on the focus. Right? You need to be very, very important. Especially when electricity like children, it's important to remember. The brand should speak to them. It's very important that I should be in a position to relate, the child should be, should be in a position to relate to the brand. I can't be symbolizing them. Got my point? I got to level up to them. Right? So that he is favorably disposed to a brand. 
I'll give you an example as we go along. Brand speaks their language. Right? Which means my branding also. Right? Has to be something which is related to kids. Right? Third, brands that their friends use. Show off in school to talk about brand that speaks to teens because they hate teens. Right? Leader and most visible of brands in the category that their mom won't buy for them. Right? Okay, sorry, it's a mistake which I mean. Will Bill buy for you? Sorry, it's a mistake. Right? Uh, just reduce it and you can go ahead and check it out. Right? Bill Now, brands that speak to them, I'd explain to you, brands that speak their language. Uh, let me take an example of ICSK. Right? Uh, ICSK came to us with a brief saying that we want to relate as a bank. I say it's a bank at all. We want to relate as a bank, right? To the children of this nation because they are going to be the future of this country. Right? We ask them why do you want to relate to the kids of this country? Right? They didn't have an answer. So where Kamal in his one of his meetings he said that we need to relate to the children. He also left it at that. So other business general managers want to follow what the chairman had said, right? But they don't know what the objective is. So he said, like, you know, why, did, why did Kamal have to say it? What was the pretext uh, under what? Where, what kind of usage was it? So we went through the minutes of the meeting with Kamal. Right? What he was trying to say is, we need to start catering to the children of this country. Again, a very big story. He also made a big Then, when we started digging more into it, started talking more people and stuff like that. See, ICSK, among the private banks, became number one bank in terms of size. Right? Not in terms of service, definitely in terms of size. Why did it become number one now? That's a science. Right? Because of technology. Right? That's why they could launch that many branches and services and everything they could offer. Right? Because of technology. Right? So that is the cutting edge which I say is it's done. Now our question was, ten years from now, technology is something that can be replicated. Right? I don't have to start ten years from now from the same platform as what ICICI had started 20 years back. I will start from a platform where ICICI is free in terms of technology. Right? And if I can make a difference in terms of service, even if I make a 5% difference in terms of service to what ICICI is, ICICI will be a loss. We are completely forgotten. Right? The way the consumer is going to ICICI because he has no choice. Right? Others will come with your options. So what we are trying to do is, right, we are trying to cover ICICI's back. Right? Exposing the children, right, and making sure that the children start banking with ICICI, so that ICICI will have a first order. So we are looking at the children who want to increase their customer base and secondly that they continue on using the bank, patronizing. Right. Okay. So that's where this man, deep inside that's a thought he had, but he never uh, uh, articulated it. But we realized what, the forget, what he was trying to get across and then we went and made this presentation. That's when everybody said yes, yes. That you know, Mr. Kamal said, yes, this is what I want. Right? That's when we, they went and launched a specific account right? for kids. Right? They called it as Junior Citizens. Junior Citizens. This is the name of the bank account, which is the savings account. Now, does it make sense for me to go to the school to promote it? Does it? Because the child cannot decide where he wants to invest, right? 
because I'm sure like tomorrow if you have a daughter, she will not set the where she wants to invest. You will take a decision on this. Right? But how do we make sure that the child has a positive disposition to that Right? We said we go to have a story contest. Of different sets of students, primary, secondary, and junior college. Different sets of students. The essence of the story has to be something on savings. Essence is savings, right? The savings needn't be money. The savings can manifest itself in many ways. One of the examples we gave was in that uh, flyer that was sent to them. Is an ant, black ant, right? Have you ever seen right, before the monsoon starts, right? They all are in one queue in the silk, on the silk. They all are getting molecules of food and they keep dropping it to the hole, right? Okay. What are they trying to do? They're trying to save, right? So we go back to the same old adage. Every drop makes an ocean. Okay. An adjoining story, another example that we are given is, is about uh, uh, the father got to a camera. Okay. See, we need to cut across. Like, we can't talk about a digital camera to a guy who is sitting in probably in a place like uh, the Mughal. Okay. We can't talk about a digital camera. We have to talk about a road camera. Now, father has bought a camera for you, right? But there are consumables. Father will not buy consumables with the reviews if that turns out to be your pocket. Right? Therefore, for your pocket money, if you start saving, probably you can buy yourself a robe for your sister's next birthday. Because these are moments of memory. You'd like to store those things. Right? These are the two examples. We contacted about 1,000 schools across the country, right, where there was a student right in college. And uh, from primary section, there were first, second, third, right, secondary, first, second, third, junior college, first, second, third, right. Each one of them were given 100,000 rupees for the first prizes. And second prizes were given 50,000, third prizes were given 25,000, right. You'll be surprised if I tell you, you have collected a green card, stories. Almost close to about 400,000 stories from 1,000 schools. 400,000 stories from 1,000 schools. Some may be absolute trash. Some may be absolute trash. Right? I would probably say about 50,000 of them out of 400,000 are excellent stories. Right? Now, what we are doing is we are putting a big, uh, we have uh, signed with Amachi together. Right? And that is what they say. Print, uh, this is the size of a comic. Illustrate and print it in this size, A5 size, right? A comic books. With these comics, right? Of each story they will print, right? Based on the database, right? They are sending them these comics every week, two months. So every child who has participated in this 400,000 children, right? They are getting six copies of the comic, right? All sales, right? For 12 months. Now, what is happening to the child? He is completely getting exposed to the back. And what is happening within the house? Because the story book is reaching house. Right? What's happening? Like, you know, let's take the cheese and mother. Right? It's reaching you. Right? Uh, the child may be in a position to read it, the child may not be in a position to read it. But then he comes to you with the story book and says, Come up, please. As a mother, you take the same opportunity to explain it to the child. It also triggers a very nice feeling that her child is going to talk about savings, like I say, which in turn triggers saying that she wants to find out whether there is an account for her child in that sense. It's a uh, maybe a process which is a little longer, but it, it has its own trigger. Right? So that's how we do this. Right? As well as the
We are making sure that the child experiences it. So most of the batch, what now they are trying to do is, they are trying to try create a shop and shop kind of thing. They are creating a corner for children's life. Right? Like you know, they have a drawing sheet there. Right? Connect the dots. Right? A drawing sheet. They can quickly draw it. Right? If uh, it may be nothing to anybody, right? But he gets a five star. Child feels it as a reward. It's a very memorable thing for the child also. And he'll remember it. So you are creating that experience of child feeling good about SAC. Right? And next is like, sorry. Next we are talking about show of practical trend, trend schools. So for example, the certificate which ICIC is giving, right, will make the child talk proudly about ICIC. Right? The word of mouth starts. Brands will speak to teens. Right? Like for example, if, he, if the brother has seen it, the older brother has seen it, right? Okay, he'll also start relating himself with ICIC. Next, lead, uh, leader and move for the school of brands and catching that is mom with my son. ICIC is perceptually today considered as a leader. The fact that ICIC is coming up with this, the mom will be far too willing to invest in this. Right. 
enables him to do more. Right. Here, please understand, I'm taking for granted that the product is a good product. If it's a bad product, you can't do it. We'll check out on the further first. Next is real world dynamics, competition, mutual products and services, however, act as spoilers in marketing space. Right? A lot of these mutual products keep coming. Right? And actually what they do is they, sometimes they tell them uh, the first mover advantage, right? Product branch with first mover advantage, sometimes they screw up the first mover advantage actually. Right? Because sometimes they can't deliver the products. Right? Which raises the Consumers too uh, have become more brand savvy and with increased brand expectations, it's making it tougher for marketers to deliver on their brand promise to potentially make this Right? Because what is happening today is, right, uh, how much of value are you changing? You're not a point, you can't do anything that much. Right? So, what's the way out of the marketers? Given all these perspectives, what's the way out of the Brand management, about line communications which is advertising in mass media, TV, press, radio, etc. Raise awareness and analysis of brand products. Experiential market communication, B2C and B2B. B2B is leader, influence influenced trials. We handle sales in product launch products. B2C triggers trials in B2B. So this is the only thing which fits into the market layer through the present shape of communicate about the brand. Enter brand experience, experience marketing can be defined as the marketing which is the initiative that delivers consistent levels of brand information, comprehension, and familiarity with consumers at an each and every touch point. Very clearly it delivers a definition of touch point. Can you tell us again? Oh yes, please. Ensures that there is a low gap between the brand promise and the brand promise. Right. Okay. Because it has to be demonstrated. If I can't demonstrate what the promise is, then I'm a fool doing an expedition. It offers an emotional connect between brand and customer for probably truly a wow experience. I have to create say that wow, it made a difference to me. Therefore, the conversion starts happening. Therefore, the traffic, therefore the conversion. Right? Experience part tends to connect consumers and brands and thus to the limited and Because you've got to relate to whatever demonstration. Further experience marketing is customers now to engage in the track the brand's products and services and sales activities, which are already explained. The five senses, right, how right, the brand can engage right, okay, and interface with the customer. Right. Personal experience is helping to connect with the brand, to make intelligent and informed purchasing decisions. Right. Third, experience marketing refers to actual customers. started asking about personal experiences of each one. Right? Because these are the experiences that, that makes you whether positive or negative. That's why I said either it triggers you to have a complete changeover in your behavior, right? Or it, it, it makes you feel sick that like, okay, my God, what have I been doing? Right? Let me change. So these are the experiences that count in a personal life. These are the same relationship is very important when it comes to relating with brands. Right? Yeah. When, when brands start relating with consumers, that's is it's, it's a difference between telling people about the features of the product themselves and letting them letting them experience benefits of the business. Advertising it only tells them so right here and get the five since eight. When done right, it's most powerful to build that right? right, it's great. If you remember again, when I started off, 
a smile, a smell, a touch, a taste, a thoughtful gesture, all added to my experience. Right? Smell has come when we are talking about me. Taste has come when we are talking about hope. Right? Positive experience need to become institutionalized in the system. So the all touch points deliver the brand essence. Right? You need to formatize this. Right? There has to be a format. Right? So that the experience that you deliver in, in orbit is not very different from the experience that you deliver in a job.